I'd been making bread for nearly 40 years when Jim Leahy showed me things that I never imagined two years ago. Hey, Jim. Hey, Maury. Jim hey, has Maury. a technique that he says any six-year-old can do, which may mean or, that I can't, or but right. Or four-year-old. And I, in turn, shared them with Times readers and people who watch Times videos, and the thing became a cult. We got hundreds, between the two of us, thousands of emails, letters, responses, I have some new ideas about Jim's bread, and I asked him to come over so I could share them with him, and he could tell me what I'm doing wrong. Here he is, Jim Leahy. Hi, Jim. Hi, Mark. How are you? Good. So you're going to show me your new method of making the no need bread. I'm going to show you my new method of making sort new of method. your bread okay. faster. Okay. Your technique involved two key things, three key things, four key things. It involved very little yeast, a lot of water, a lot of time, 12 to 18 hours of fermentation, and a cool cooking method of baking in a preheated cast iron or other the mini, pot. The fake oven. The fake, the fake oven. steaming yeah, oven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was all great, and everybody's loved it, and the results, I mean, I'm sure you saw the it's stuff. It's amazing to see how many pictures of bread that people have taken and posted online. It's, it, and, and it's, it's, it gives me a thrill every time I, I, I look at images online. But they look good. Yes. People do unbelievably good jobs yes. with this well, stuff. The, well, then they also, it, it, they internalize this idea about, about the process. Right. And it becomes theirs. Right. Which is, which is the objective. We start with your... You know, we start with flour and salt. This, okay? isn't, this isn't faster than uh, the other way. How is this faster? And But we're using four or five times as much yeast okay. as we use. Yeah. So okay? you're populating the, your substrate. So we're substrate. trying to give this a little bit of a head start. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna overpopulate your substrate. But overpopulate is going to do us what damage? Well, it's, What it's, harm are we doing Well, here? not doing any harm. So uh, far. But, but the things that can be consumed, the naturally occurring sugar in the wheat, as well as that 70-something percent starch uh, yeah. can be consumed a lot quicker as a result. So this is three or four hours. Yeah, it's beautiful. The next step would be to let it rise again for a half hour or okay. so. And here's, I'm going to show you what we've got. Uh, so what I see here in your bread is that these little wavy lines that are here indicate to me, and the lack of actual crust indicates to me that the bread did not bake long enough. It just baked, you see I have a little bit of crust here on the end, right? Mm -hmm. On the outside, but there's no, there's no fissure, there's no crack. That's and, but what's that? That's just a, 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 an expansion mark. I'll show you when we cut it open. Here, we'll cut it open and I'll explain it in more agonizing detail. All right, so you see these bubbles here, right? These, these openings, these little pores. Mm -hmm. We call this the crumb. And I can tell by looking at the outside of the loaf and the inside of the loaf that it is not fermented enough. If you wanted to get the dough ready in two hours, say, I would mix a portion of dough with more flour and water and not add more yeast. However, that being said... no. That be, I mean, here's the thing. Right, Everything right. is a compromise, right? Um... It's not bad, but it's, not, it's not, Mark, not the Mark Bittman bread that I know and love. Three years ago, I would have been very happy to make this bread. My Please. recommendation for Mark Bittman, and I'm, I'm going to put it to Mark, I'm going to give Mark Bittman the new recipe for the no-need bread even better. Want to hear it? Yeah. Really cool. Go back to the original quantity of yeast. Yes. Add to the, the water a couple drops of red wine vinegar. Interesting. Maybe four drops, maybe even as much as a quarter of a teaspoon. And instead of using tepid water, use extremely warm water. Very warm, almost hot. Right. And that's it. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to do your original recipe, same amount of yeast, quarter teaspoon or so of red wine vinegar, hot water instead of cool water. Mm hmm Three or four hours of fermentation instead of 12, it, sh it should. It should work. And it'll be very cool. It will be cool. Hopefully it's the beginning of a long dialogue about our, our food. You yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. at the end of the day, it's just something we eat. And it's a staple of our, of our, our daily existence, you know.
Well, at least cool. mine, you know. At least yours. Okay. Well, thanks again. It's nice to see Great you, Great to Mark. have you here. Likewise. Nice work. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you for I will steal now. this recipe for years. Absolutely. Make sure that everyone everyone has access to it. Yeah, we'll do that. What's the goal? Thank you.